Music, to many, is like the concrete adhesive which holds a house together, as it plays such a vital role in one's day-to-day -day life. For some, it can be seen as a form of entertainment or a hobby, and for others, it means so much more. Music means a lot to me. Um, I go to gigs so often and I've met like, most of my best friends through it, so I'd probably be lost without it. <laughs> music is kind of just everything to me at this stage. I mean, uh, ever since a young age, I used to be a big like, like rocker head. And uh, from that kind of point onwards, I started picking up instruments slowly and then eventually transgressed into like electronic music, which uh, obviously where the DJing came from. And uh, I even ended up doing music tag in college, didn't stick it out unfortunately, but did it. So uh, I'd say music is a very big part of my life, definitely. Well, music means a lot to me ever since I was young. Um, can't picture a day where I don't listen to music. Every time I'm alone, I listen to music. If I don't have my headphones, it's like a tragedy, <laughs> you know? And every time I'm at home, I'll just, if I'm doing nothing at all, I'll pick up a guitar and then I'll start playing something. That's how much it means to me. I just have to, I have to have it constantly in my life. But it's hard to, it's just like a thing that's always there. It's not like, oh, better listen to music right now. You know, it just happens, it's so natural. First song I remember listening to a lot with my sisters would be Crazy by Britney Spears. It was always on TV and the radio at that time, so it just reminds me of them when I was younger. Like. The first song that I would remember that really kind of stuck with me is probably Daft Punk Around the World. Um, I don't know why, I think it was more the music video as well. It just kind of like stuck with me for years and years. Actually still, it's kind of always just there whenever I'm playing gigs now. I still kind of throw it on as like a little throwback for myself more so than anything. But uh, thank God it's a good song. People actually like react well to it. I, don't know, I think it was about seven or eight. And uh, Led Zeppelin released a Mothership compilation album. And then the ad for the album came on TV and they played Black Dog. And that was the first song that I used to just constantly like quote all the time with my parents and it annoyed the shit out of them. So, <laughs> but yeah, that was the first song that really stuck in my head. With the click of a button, the world can be put on pause and all troubled thoughts may fade away. Music is escapism, a form of meditation destined to soothe, excite, or enlighten one's mind. It could definitely change my mood because um, studies have shown actually that music, when, it, when you listen to good music or music that resonates with you, it releases certain amounts of dopamine. So the same as like psychoactive drugs or like if you do some exercise. So if I'm like in like a down mood or whatever, I'll listen to a certain album and then it'll just like reassure that mood or something, you know? Yeah, I think genres really do because like if you're listening to kind of like sadder songs and stuff, like it's obviously gonna make you sad and stuff like that. But there's definitely songs I'd listen to and they put me in like a better mood, so. Uh, when people are sad, they tend to listen to sad music, but I think I'd be more the other end of it. I'd kind of listen to like feel good kind of disco and funky music when I'm actually feeling like down at all. Because I feel that music definitely does change my mood. and. Uh, like, who likes being sad? I pretty much use music to escape the world all the time. Like, whenever I'm alone, I just don't want to think about anything. I just want to focus on the music, you know, on the music that I'm listening to. If it's late at night, I feel, and I'm listening to my, like, my favorite album or something, I can just get transported into the world of, of that artist, in a sense, you know? And the, the sound that they're creating and, like, the images they're creating from that sound. Listening to music and going to gigs really, like, takes a step back from reality and stuff. I know people tend to just go into their room sometimes and just throw on earphones and listen to like, well I, I would anyway, listen to like an hour set or something and just kind of forget about whatever's going on in the kitchen or whatever for an hour. Music can bring whole rooms of people together, forming long lasting friendships, turning crowds into one as they feel that same energy. Made all my best friends through music and gigs. So like, if there was no music, I probably wouldn't have all my friends. Yeah, it, it's because of, of music and my love for music. And like when I first listened to Led Zeppelin on the, on the TV and well, I wanted to learn that guitar riff from Black Dog. And then I learned guitar. And then because of me 
knowing how to play guitar, I met other guitarists and we were exchanging different like chord ideas and licks and then we'd write together and then we'd listen to different music together. It's pretty much how I got all my friends pretty much through music. People who were into like electronic music kind of, I started finding myself like more into these groups and I still like I can still get along with people who don't like that music but I think music is so embedded in society now that like it kind of has a massive part in who you're friends with. I, I, I think the music I listen to kind of reflects the way I act with people and stuff like that sometimes maybe. I'd say more the music I listened to in the last few years probably has changed me more than anything. But like growing up my dad was always listening to music and he really introduced me to it. The music I was growing up with definitely carved the way I write music as well, but also the way I feel and react to certain situations. And I was also reading a study there saying that uh, your music taste when you're 14 always stays with you. So if you think back when you were 14 and what you were listening to, it always have a soft place in your heart. And it can dictate your image and identity, carving you into who you are today.